If you haven't done so yet, pause the video and try to answer the question on your own first before listening on. To begin the problem, we're going to draw the tall cylinder partially filled with mercury. So here is that cylinder, and in red we have colored in the mercury that fills it, or partially fills it. And we were told that the surface of the mercury is 5 centimeters above the bottom of the cylinder. So we can mark on the diagram a height of 5 centimeters. And then we're going to come along and pour in some water, so we can draw that next. And so here is that water, and then we don't know the height of the water. That's one of the things that we're going to actually figure out in solving this problem. Now, the next step is to review the concept of gauge pressure, which is really what the question is referring to. And gauge pressure, which maybe we could call P sub G, is equal to the density of the fluid times gravi gravity multiplied by the depth of the fluid, which we can call H. And our focus will be on the bottom of the cylinder. So for example, if we went back to the original diagram and we wanted to determine the gauge pressure right here, we could say that that is equal to the density of the mercury, which we could label with Hg, multiplied by G, and then multiplied by the depth of the mercury, which is 5 centimeters. Now, the density of mercury would have to be looked up in the textbook. There should be a table of densities for various substances, and it turns out that mercury's density is 13.6 times 10 to the power of 3, and that's going to be in kilograms per meter cubed. And then we're going to multiply that by gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. And if we look carefully, the units of length are measured in meters in these quantities, so we actually cannot leave centimeters for the depth of the fluid. So we're going to convert that into meters by multiplying it by 10 to the minus 2. And then we can pick up our calculators and multiply this all out. And when we do that, we get about 6,664 pascals for the pressure at the bottom of this container. Now, after pouring in the water, we are seeking to double that pressure. So actually, the pressure right here is going to be 2 times that value. And so when we multiply that pressure by 2, we get about 13,328 pascals. Now, what we want to notice here is that because there are two fluids, the water and the mercury, there are two sources of gauge pressure. So we're going to have the density of the mercury times G times the depth of the mercury. But then we're going to have to add that to the density of water times G times the depth of the water. And maybe we could just call that HW so we don't confuse it with the other height. And we're setting that equal to the total gauge pressure at the bottom of the container, which is that 13,328. Now, we already know from earlier in the problem that this value right here was 6,664. For the density of water, again, we could look that up in the table. That is 1.0 times 10 to the third kilograms per meter cubed times 9.8 again. And then the height of the water, we don't know. But we're going to be able to find it after setting this up. So maybe what we can do next is subtract the 6664 over to the right-hand side. We can multiply out the 1 times 10 to the third and the 9.8. And then we can divide both sides by 9.8 times 10 to the third. And then when we do that, we can see that the height of the water is going to be 0.68 meters, or 68 centimeters, if you prefer. Now on to the final part of the problem, which wants us to find the volume of the water. Now we can see that the water takes the shape of a cylinder. And the volume of a cylinder can be expressed as its area multiplied by its height. Now we were told that the cross-sectional area of the cylinder is 12 centimeters cubed. So we can plug in the 12 centimeters cubed in for that cross-sectional area A. And then the height we just determined to be 68 centimeters. So we can plug that in. And then when we multiply, we end up with 816, and the unit will be centimeters squared times centimeters, which is centimeters cubed. So this would be the correct volume of water that needs to be poured in in order to double the gauge pressure at the bottom of the cylinder.